What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Lumsden Motorsports Garage. I'm Wade Lumsden, and I got so excited. Um, I wanted to kind of show you what just showed up. Um, granted, I have two of five boxes <laughs> that uh, I'm supposed to receive, but uh, this, this box and that box, as you can see, I already opened them because I was way too excited to wait. Um, but that box and that box showed up. And I'll give you a hint, give you a hint. It has that logo. I'm super excited. So this will be the start of the video. Um, the other three boxes haven't shown up yet and I am hoping that they'll show up tomorrow. I'm gonna give you an idea timeline wise. Here's the car. I am getting ready for uh, the Las Vegas uh, uh, working man national working man's nationals is what they're calling it um, so th it's Sunday uh, and I leave on Tuesday so I'm really hoping all this stuff shows up on Monday tomorrow um, so that I might get a chance to put it together and uh, take it to the races but in spirit of uh, working on improving my tire program uh, I showed you guys in one of my other videos that I did get a uh, Groover and all of that happy stuff. Um, I did get uh, this is this stuff is showing up, um, and hopefully after the intro, it'll be all of the pieces here, and we can go through it. Okay, if you couldn't tell, I'm being really impatient, but I have, I'm, I'm starting to take what I have out of the box. It's same day, by the way, it's still Sunday. Um, and I was just very curious as to what was inside it. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, it looks like, looks like the tool arm is here, the base is here, um, and the upright. Uh, and the wheels for it came all in one box all came in this box um, the thing in the other box is the tire easy tire dyno uh, we will go over that later uh, but for now I'm gonna uh, put this together this isn't gonna be a, how do you put together a, a tire dyno or a tire demon because there's a bunch of those videos out there um, I'm just excited to improve my tire program um so i'll give you like stages as i'm going together with it and then we'll we'll talk about um why i did what i did and all that other happy stuff but um <clears throat> i'm always saying that i'm a baller on a budget and uh this is um not necessarily the cheapest tire machine on the market but i've been saving for about four years now wanting to get a tire demon i noticed that there's a lot of people out there that get other brands uh and in many cases they go at, at least at the brands that i was looking at they end up going and upgrading upgrading uh to a tire demon um and they seem to be happier with them um but i'm not i'm not saying anything bad against any of the other tire machines and stuff that are out there uh, I looked at a lot of them. There's a lot of good value, a lot of good deals um, and stuff like that. But like I said, I've been saving up for about four years, um, a little bit here, a little bit there to be able to get a tire machine. And then uh, lucky enough for me, um, <clears throat> you know, with, with Christmas just behind us and my birthday is actually coming up, uh, my wonderful, wonderful girlfriend, uh, she she actually uh, made this happen and made this made this possible and made it possible to get with all of the cool Gucci stuff that I got with it and we'll go over all that stuff when it arrives. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put together what I have, uh, which again looks like it's just the the base and uh, the upright or the pivot 
goes to with the motor and stuff. That's Brantler's. He's going to help me. Cooper's is going to help me too. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, girlfriend's out of the house, so I'm building it in the living room since there's still a race car in the garage. Um, <clears throat> I'm waiting on something to show up before I can continue on with the car out there. Um, again, this is mid process of getting ready for Las Vegas, right? So, uh, detour, <laughs> squirrel. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put together what I got. Okay. So, um, it is Monday evening and Monday morning. Look what showed up. Boom. That's right. So these showed up just in time to be able to take, to take them to Vegas, to the working man nationals. Um, I'm pretty ecstatic. So I got to finish putting this bad boy together and maybe I'll get to take it with me and I guess uh, the dogs are gonna help uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm gonna take it with me um, I mean hey comment below uh, what you guys take to the track for tire prep and all that stuff uh, especially if you got the tire demon and all the Gucci stuff that goes with it do you take the wash tub with you um, do you take I mean what kind of stuff do you take to the track with you uh, versus just leaving in your shop. So um, comment below. I'm, I'd be very curious. Uh, again, this is my first time owning a tire machine um, and we went all out and got everything that goes with it. So um, yeah, I'm not <laughs> uh, tire prep. Uh, not really a whole new world for me, but the machine and all the tools that come with it, that's definitely new and different for me. Um, something something cool stuff that we got um some cool stuff that we got and we'll go over that after we uh open boxes Woo -woo. okay so far uh got some swag i'm gonna sport it uh, <laughs> uh tire demon is in no way uh sponsoring me or anything like that i just want to state that even though i'm whew, you know sporting the swag i got some cool stickers and stuff too uh with the with the purchase, but everything out of the box. Um, like I said, I got I got pretty much all of the Gucci stuff. <laughs> um, got the tire wrap arm attachment over there and um, the tire dyno over, still in the box there, but uh, we'll get that out soon enough. So now I'm gonna assemble it. It looks like it's pretty self-explanatory, plus it came with some destructions um, so can't be that hard, right? <laughs> Time to build. Well, guys, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, <laughs> I got the easy wheel out. Um, so what I like about the easy wheel, right? This allows you to, uh, mount up your tires. See, it's like a giant, giant wheel, but you can just slide this on and off allows you to mount up and air up your tire without uh, mounting it to figure out what your um, circumference on the tire is so I mean that's that's pretty freaking awesome especially for a guy like me uh, that does not have a uh, tire machine to be able to put on and take off tires quickly um, I think if I had a tire machine I wouldn't greatly care uh, but if you're doing it all by hand out in your driveway, it takes a lot of time and you have to mount them all up. You're guessing. So the, the markings from Hoosier is a crap shoot anyways, right? Especially on the, the G60s, uh, the IMCA stamp G60s. Um, so that being a crap shoot anyways, you end up mounting up tires on a, on a bunch of wheels and then you find out, oh, great the smallest tire I put on my beadlock and the largest tire I put on a regular wheel awesome uh, let me swap those so then you're dismounting tires by hand again and it, you just chance you know messing up your bead and, and and you waste a lot of time and you exhaust yourself especially if you're at the racetrack in you know in the middle of the desert in July or August and um, yeah, it just gets, uh, it gets pretty tired. So um, this is gonna be phenomenal. It's gonna allow me to figure all that stuff out. Plus, I believe you can do all your tire prep. Um, I'm gonna do a little more research, but I'm like 100% sure 
okay, 99% sure that you can do all your tire prep on the uh, the easy wheel before you even mount it onto a uh, onto a regular wheel. Anyway, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I figured that was going to be a huge time saver for me because when I'm doing tires, I absolutely hate mounting and dismounting tires over and over and over again when I don't have to, especially when I'm at a hurry in a hurry at the racetrack. So, uh, so got the machine all put together. Um, I just slid the the Cyper on the outside here. Um, normally, it would be on this side of the shaft to be able to prep the tires. Um, and then I got the the rack for the plastic wrap, um, which there's two little caps here. I I am guessing that uh, since I was given that and two <laughs> two pins, that I need to drill that wherever I find it needs to be mounted once I get a tire on here and. Um, you know, actually get it rotating so I can see what the heck, right? Uh, where it needs to actually be, and then I can pin that in place, which will be awesome. Um, got some spare blades. Uh, these are different width uh, plastics for the rollers. Um, they go in between the blades here for spacing, so I can space those out differently. Uh, this came all done like this already with uh, nice rubber covers and ready to rock and roll. Um, and of course I got the tub and the brush. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let me know if you've used any or all of this stuff before. Um, I know I need to go through the adjustment process. Um, this is just like a little uh, set bolt. Once I find where it's gonna go, I'll tighten it up there. Um, this kind of a cool little handle makes this super easy. Um, to roll around. Uh, the whole unit by itself is kind of kind of heavy. Um, this motor assembly and stuff is pretty heavy, so that's a thing. Um, if you if you got a situation where you got to pick it up and put it somewhere, um, it's heavy. Be be aware of that. I'm sure one guy can do it, but probably better off with two guys. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I haven't plugged it in and turned it on yet. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I got an extension cord right here. Um, I'm gonna do it with you guys live. Woo, live and in person. Um, all right, we're gonna take the cord and we will plug it in here. I'm pretty excited about this. So, controls, slow, fast, on off left right so let's turn it to the right hey check that out whoa this thing slows down to a stop <laughs> pretty good all right cool off switch directions on nice nice uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. I'm pretty ecstatic uh, about starting to use this. So uh, I'll, I'm gonna take it to Vegas with me. There's a height adjustment here too. So I'm sure that's gonna come into play. Uh, whether that is for just what's comfortable for me or for uh, when I get a tire down in the uh, wash tub here, um, but yeah, man, this is this is pretty cool. There's a pin down here. You pull that pin, the head will tilt back um, with the whole assembly and everything. That'll all tilt back and out of the way. Uh, I am positive that is mostly for when you're using the wash tub, so that you can, you know, drop drop a tire down into the wash tub, pull a tire up out of the wash tub uh, without it being a huge pain. So, uh, like I said, guys never used one before i've never had the luxury of a tire machine i am super grateful that um that my girlfriend was uh <laughs> so giving um and and we were able to to with our powers combined make this thing happen for me 
Uh, like I said, I've been wanting one for years. I've been saving up for about four years. Uh, and I am just absolutely stoked um, to be using it. Now, with that being said, I know I need to improve my tire program. This is all part of improving my tire program. Um, I did get, and you know, see it in my other video, I did also get a Groover. Uh, IMCA now allows us to groove tires. They allowed us to groove tires last year. Um, I was a little skittish about buying a tire groover last year because I was afraid they would revoke the rule uh, coming into 2022, uh, but they did not. So we have another season of being able to use a groover. So I got the groover. Now I need to um, start getting really getting into that stuff. Uh, I now have the ability and flexibility to choose my my groove patterns and my uh, sight patterns and stuff, which is fantastic. I used to um, uh, I used to get my tires from my dealer and he had the ability to sipe them, um, but we only got them siped in in one way, right? Like he siped them one way and that was it. That's all you got, um, which was this uh, diamond pattern the whole whole time. Uh, didn't matter the tire. It was either not siped or siped like that, uh, <laughs> which was, you know, um, a lot better than not having a siped tire, right? Uh, in many cases. Uh, as far as grooving goes, um, I have had uh, friends groove tires for me before at the racetrack you know when we were just trying to get some more wear out of it again it's something I've never really messed with uh, we, I, I've never been in a situation where I was allowed to groove tires until uh, well last year and now uh, and so if you guys have any tips tricks uh, links uh, anything like that for um, like good grooving patterns uh, you know post them down below uh, that would be extremely helpful to me and maybe anybody else who's watching this video. Um, I know circumference, uh, going around the circumference of the tire, the, you know, where around where the tread is, uh, is for like steering, uh, forces and if, uh, and, and side to side helps get you a little bit more bite, uh, when the tire slides sideways helps you. Um, grip better that way uh, and then going across the tire um, it, it's better for you know forward traction stuff so um, but when it comes to like the angles I don't know maybe that's a personal preference I'm not 100% sure if you got tips tricks trades uh, hints secrets um lies truths whatever um found stuff that works for you siping grooving all that happy stuff uh drop it below i would really be interested i've been doing a lot of my own research um and i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sold on any one thing yet so um, are there times when you want to sipe and don't want to sipe are there times when you want to groove and don't want to groove um yeah, that's the that's the adventure we're on now. So, uh, I I think I have some answers to a lot of those questions. But again, I do as much research as I possibly can, especially before I, you know, go spouting stuff out on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so, um, with that being said, I am going to um, continue to load up to go down to Las Vegas right now. Um, I, I actually leave in the morning, so I was really stoked that this stuff showed up, and I'm going to get this stuff loaded to take with me and finish uh, packing up the rest of my stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I know this wasn't a how-to. There's plenty of how-to videos on on putting these things together. I'm just I was super ecstatic to. Um, be able to bring these tools on to help improve my tire program because um, you'll hear many people say it tires win races so um, hopefully hopefully this is an edge um, that's going to help out a lot so thanks for watching guys don't forget any questions comments concerns down below 
and uh, we'll catch you next video.